Good day everyone. This is Teacher Cherry. In this video, we will learn about solving polynomial equations. We will solve problems involving polynomials and polynomial equations. Always remember that a polynomial equation is any equation that contains a polynomial expression. Here are the steps in finding the roots of polynomial equations. We have five steps. Number one, write the equation in general form. a sub n, x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 times x raised to n minus 1 plus a sub 1 x times x plus a sub 0 equal 0. So, yung general form, nagsisimula siya mula sa may highest exponent hanggang sa least exponent. Yung last natin ay yung constant. Number 2, determine the degree of the polynomial which, test, which tells us the number of roots it has. So, kung, ilan yung, kung ano yung degree niya, yun yung bilang ng kanyang roots. Number 3, List down all possible rational roots using the rational roots theorem. Step 4, use synthetic division, long division, or factor theorem to determine the roots of the polynomial equation. And the last step, if the polynomial is in factored form, use the zero product rule. What is the zero product rule? If A, B are non-zero factors, then A times B equals zero implies A equals zero or B equals zero or both A equals B is equal to zero. So let's have examples in finding roots of polynomial equations. Let's solve the following equations. Number 1, x minus 4 equals 6. So, this is a linear equation. Ano ang kanyang degree? The degree is 1. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong isang roots dito sa polynomial equation na to. Paano natin hahanapin? I-apply natin yung addition property of equality. mag add tayo ng 4 both sides para maiwan lang yung x dito sa left. So, we have x minus 4 plus 4 equals 6 plus 4. x minus 4 plus 4 is equal to x. And then, 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. Therefore, the roots of x minus 4 equals 6 is 10. Number 2 example, 5x minus 1 times 2x plus 5 equals 0. So, ito na ay nasa factored form. So, i-apply natin yung zero product rule. Yung factor, i-equate natin sa zero. So, we have 5x minus 1, the first factor. 2x plus 5 is the second factor. I-equate natin both sa zero. So, we have 5x minus 1 equals zero. And then, we have 2x plus 5 equals zero. Unahin natin yung 5x minus 1 equals 0. So, itatranspose natin yung negative 1 sa right. Magiging 5x equals positive 1. From negative 1, magiging positive 1. And then, para ma-eliminate yung 5, i-divide natin both sides by 5. 5x over 5 equals 1 over 5. Then, 5x divided by 5 equals x. And then, 1 over 5. Next naman, yung 2x plus 5 equals 0. Yung positive 5, itatranspose natin, magiging negative 5. Magkakaroon na tayo ng 2x equals negative 5. And then, i-divide natin both sides by 2. 2x over 2 equals negative 5 over 2. 2x divided by 2 is equal to x equals negative 5 over 2. So, ang... Um, so, roots ng 5x minus 1 times 2x plus 5 are 1 fifth and negative 5 over 2. Let's have example 3. x square plus 6x plus 8 equals 0. What are the roots of this polynomial equation? So, step 1, dapat yung equation ay nasa general form. So, mula sa highest exponent hanggang sa least exponent. 
And then, kung mapapansin natin, x square plus 6x plus 8 is factorable. So, ifa-factor natin. Una, ifa-factor natin yung x squared, that is x times x. And then, isip tayo ng factors ng 8 na ang sum ay 6. So, we have 4 times 2. So, isusulat natin, plus 4 and plus 2. And then, apply natin yung zero product rule. I-equate natin yung mga factors sa 0. So, we have x plus 4 equals 0. And then, x plus 2 equals 0. And then, find the value of x. Transpose natin yung positive 4 sa right, magiging negative 4. So, we have x equals negative 4. This is the first factor. And then, next, dito sa x plus 2 equals 0, yung positive 2, itatranspose natin sa right, magiging negative 2. So, we have x equals negative 2. Therefore, the second factor is negative 2. These are the two factors, negative 4 and negative 2 of x squared plus 6x plus 8 equals 0. Next example, what are the roots of x squared minus 4 times x plus 1 times x minus 7 equals 0? Kung mapapansin natin, nasa naka-factored form na siya. So, ang gagawin na lang natin, i-equate natin sa 0. But first, kung mapapansin natin, yung unang binomial, x squared minus 4, ay difference of 2 squared. So, pwede pa natin itong i-factor. So, applying factoring, kung difference of 2 squares to, ang kanyang factor ay sum and difference of binomial. So, una, i-factor natin yung x squared, Ang factor niya ay x and x. And then, yung factor ng 4, 2 times 2. And then, we have sum and difference. Therefore, the factors of x squared minus 4 are x plus 2 and x minus 2. And then, let's copy x plus 1 and x minus 7 equals 0. Pwede na nating i-apply yung zero product rule. Equate natin bawat factor sa 0. We have x plus 2 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0, x plus 1 equals 0, and then x minus 7 equals 0. Then, find the value of x, yung positive 2, ita transpose natin, magiging negative 2, x equals negative 2. This is the first factor. Next, x minus 2 equals 0, negative 2, ita transpose magiging positive 2, so we have x equals positive 2. Next is x plus 1 equals 0, positive 1, transpose magiging negative 1, therefore our x is equal to negative 1. And lastly, x minus 7 equals 0, yung negative 7 pag transpose magiging positive 7, therefore our x is equal to positive 7. Therefore, the roots are negative 2, positive 2, negative 1, and positive 7. Let's have example number 5. What are the roots of x to the 4th minus 7x cubed plus 17x squared minus 17x plus 6 equals 0? So, here are the steps in finding the roots of polynomial equation. So, una dapat naka-general form. So, mauna yung may pinakamataas na exponent, pababa hanggang sa constant. Then, number 2, determine the degree of the polynomial. So, ang degree nyo ay 4, ibig sabihin meron tayong apat na roots. Number 3, list down all possible rational roots using rational roots theorem. So, i-apply natin yung rational roots theorem. Kukunin muna natin yung value ng p. Ang value ng p ay yung constant. So, we have 6. And then, yung q, yung numerical coefficient ng ating first term. That is equal to 1. And then, kunin natin yung mga factors ng p and q. So, yung p ay equal sa 6. Therefore, ang factors niya ay positive negative 1, positive negative 2, Positive negative 3 and positive negative 6. 1 times 6 is 6. 2 times 3 is 6. And then, yung factors naman ng Q, ng 1, that is positive negative 1. So, 1 times 1. And then, kunin natin yung P over Q. 
lahat ng P over Q. So, 1 over 1, that is positive negative 1. And then, 2 over 1, that is positive negative 2. And then, 3 over 1, that is positive negative 3. And lastly, positive negative 6 over positive negative 1, that is positive negative 6. Next, use synthetic division, long division, or factor theorem to determine the roots of the polynomial equation. So, ang gagamitin natin ngayon is synthetic division. So, paano ba ginagamit ang synthetic division? Una, isusulat natin yung mga numerical coefficients ng ating equation. So, we have 1, negative 7, positive 17, negative 17, and then positive 6. And then, dito sa left side, magkakaroon tayo ng inverted L shape. Ilalagay natin, pipili tayo dito ng gusto nating roots or factor. So, ang pipili natin is positive 1. Ilalagay natin dito, positive 1. And then, magkakaroon tayo ng line dito. So, ang unang step natin, ibabring down natin yung unang numerical coefficient na 1. So, and then, multiply natin. 1 times 1, that is 1. Then, add negative 7 plus 1, that is negative 6. multiply natin sa 1. Negative 6 times 1, that is negative 6. And then, add 17 plus negative 6, that is 11. Multiply sa 1 ulit. 11 times 1 is 11. Negative 17 plus 11 is negative 6. Negative 6 times 1, that is negative 6. 6 plus 6, 6 plus negative 6 equals 0. Kung nag-0 dito sa dulo, ibig sabihin, roots niya itong ating value indicator na 1. Okay, next. Pipili ulit tayo dito ng another value indicator. So, piliin naman natin yung positive 2. Ang gagamitin na natin itong numerical coefficients dito. So, we have 1, negative 6, 11, negative 6. So, hindi na natin kukunin yung 0. And then, yung value indicator natin, yung 2 naman, positive 2. Okay? Ganun pa rin yung process. Bring down 1. So, we have 1. And then, multiply sa 2. 1 times 2. That is 2. Ilalagay natin dito sa baba ng next na coefficient. Negative 6 plus 2, that is equal to negative 4. Negative 4 times 2, that is negative 8. 11 plus negative 8, that is positive 3. 3 times 2, that is 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, meron na tayong nakuhang dalawang roots ng ating equation, polynomial equation. Hahanapin pa natin yung dalawang roots. Okay, so meron na tayong 1, 2 na roots. Ano kaya yung tatlo? Ngayon naman, i-apply natin yung factoring. So, so itong 1, negative 4, 3, gagawin natin polynomial equation. So, we have x square minus 4x plus 3 para may apply natin yung factoring. So, factor natin yung x square, that is x times x. Isip tayo ng factors ng 3 na ang sum ay negative 4. So, positive yun tapos negative. So, ibig sabihin parehas na negative yung ating factor. So, we have negative 3 and negative 4. 1, minus 3 and minus 1. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. Negative 3 plus negative 1 is negative 4. And then, apply natin yung zero product rule. I-equate natin yung factors sa zero. We have x minus 3 equals 0 and x minus 1 equals 0. So, yung negative 3, ta-transpose natin, magiging positive 3. So, we have x equals 3. Next, x minus 1 equals 0. Negative 1, ita transpose magiging positive 1. So, we have x equals 1. Nakuha na natin yung apat na factors. 1, 2, 3, and 1. Therefore, 
the roots are 1, 2, 3, and 1 or can be written as 2, 3, and 1 of multiplicity 2. Bakit naging 1 of multiplicity 2? Kung mapapansin natin, meron tayong dalawang nakuhang 1. Ibig sabihin, 1 of multiplicity 2. Okay? Okay, let's have another example. What are the roots of x raised to 5? The square of x minus 3 times the cube of x plus 1 equals 0. So, yung ating polynomial equation or polynomial expression ay naka-factored form. So, kukunin na lang or equate na lang natin sa 0. Una, yung x raised to 5. So, equate natin sa 0 yung x. So, x equals 0. And then, kung mapapansin natin, meron tayong exponent na 5, ibig sabihin 0 of multiplicity 5. Therefore, we have 0 of multiplicity 5. Next natin, yung square of x minus 3. Kukunin natin yung roots. So, yung x minus 3 ang kukunin natin. X minus 3, equate natin sa 0, magiging X minus 3 equals 0. Yung negative 3, itatranspose natin, magiging positive 3. So, we have X equals 3. Is, what is the exponent? That is 2. So, ibig sabihin, 3 of multiplicity 2, yung ating roots. So, we have 3 of multiplicity 2. And then, let's proceed sa cube of X plus 1. So, kukunin natin yung x plus 1, equate natin sa 0. That is x plus 1 equals 0. Yung positive 1, itatranspose magiging negative 1. So, we have x equals negative 1. What is the exponent? 3. So, ibig sabihin yun yung kanyang multiplicity. So, we have negative 1 of multiplicity 3. So, ilan na yung ating roots? So, we have 5 plus 2, 7, plus 3, 10. So, ibig sabihin, merong 10 roots itong ating polynomial equation. I-recheck natin. We have 5, plus 2, 7, plus 3, 10. So, what are the roots? The roots are 0 of multiplicity 5, 3 of multiplicity 2, and negative 1 of multiplicity 3. Okay, that's how we solve polynomial equations. Okay, that's the end of our tutorial. Before I end this video, I would like to share a simple quotation. Never let success get to your head and never let failure get to your heart. Thank you so much. Keep safe and have a great day.